Hello everyone, I'm Coffee Addict Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Costa Caffeinata. So, last time, we were building, we're investing in ourselves, we're getting other people to spend their money in our lands, which is really cool. And we're trying to fight for autonomy, so we can eventually become free. We gotta meet investors' demands, seven factories. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of factories we're gonna need. That's, that's, that's definitely a lot. Hmm, five. Sounds like we're going to disappoint a few investors, but uh, we can always address a few comments to begin with. For example, first of all, I should buy more slaves. I should buy more slaves. Uh, that's drugs. We'll buy those later, maybe. Uh, yeah, slaves. Uh, good. Buy some more slaves so we can get bigger and bigger bonuses to our industrial capacity. Industrial capacity. I see. Old country joined the Northern League. And another comment, or a few comments were, you know what? We should have... Ghouls riding on motorcycles with dogs in the sidecars in on those motorcycles with flamethrowers attached. So, that being said, I shall eventually try to go down more support equipment, maybe get a couple flamers here and there, and maybe get a, get a couple of trained mongrels and have a good time and make sure that no one is rebelling or having a bad time when the guys come around and shoot them with a little gas. We'll put it like that. Cool, and Vault City, oh, we're going to war the Pale Folk. Didn't see that one coming whatsoever. Okay, the Jackals are at war with the Yakuza. That's a little different. That's a, that's a little different. Usually they get eaten up by the Desert Rangers early on, but, you know, whatever. Whatever, cool. Let's see, we're still trying to get more army XP. We just lost some army XP. You know what, I could throw on another ghoul. I want at least 20 combat with ghoul divisions. At least for now. That does hurt our manpower, but whatever. 50 political power. Can we do anything else? Yes. Prepare a trade mission to Honduras. That's good. Uh, the Yakuza territories were annexed. Holy cow. And the Desert Rangers gets the Yakuza area for free. Wow. Just wow. Basically for free. That's just... That's a little nuts. Cool. We got a little bit more. Thank you, ghouls. Thank you very much. So we're going to, I know with one, of our, with one of our focuses, like I said yesterday in the last video, we could wait to do support equipment, demo equipment. It doesn't really matter too much. It's only equipment. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to use it, but why don't we get motorcycles? I eventually do. Because I, I almost, I never use motorcycles in this game. I never use them. Uh, sure, that's fine. Internal investments, thank you. Seven, we're only at five. I'd rather take the hit now instead of, you know, just getting rid of everything. We're going to get hit with 8% consumer goods. Uh, so be it. So be it. Oh, trade mission report. This is the third time it's happened with the trade mission. We get one more off-map civilian workshop. A little more political power. Well, it could be worse, I suppose. On during trade profits. Whatever. We got a little bit more political power out of that anyways. Motorized flight. Uh, Triplane attackers. I always use those guys. I always use those guys. Mm, I'll probably go with bombers this, this campaign. Let's go with bombers. And, actually, before we do that, do we have any other industrial things that we could use? Plants? Plants are nice. Monthly population, I guess we'll do that. So we're going to get bombers, motorcycles, flamers, and slaves. Even though I don't think slaves is a battalion you can use. That'd be kind of cool. Conscripted slaves to fight for you? That'd be really awesome. So now we can trade with Aztlan. Very good, very good, very good. Next up. Uh, really, I... We have enough political power, really, I think, right now, so I suppose I don't have to go down with this path, but I do want that extra research slot so we can feel a little bit better about ourselves. But let's go with staying in-house, because population, losing 10% recruitable population isn't great, but staying in-house is pretty fun. While they may not be the most com competent soldiers, our plantation and officers are loyal, trusted, and most importantly, cheap. Mmm, good stuff. I do have a cup of, uh, cup of joe from this area. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oxica? Oxica? I'm going to assume it's Oxica. Ah, coffee from our plantations. Hmm. Work for with the greatest slaves known to, to ghoul kind. Hmm. Hmm. Yummy. Saying in house, that would be great because, like I said before, I'm not going to do the conscription thing. I'm not going to give him my manpower. That's ins that's just nuts. No way, man. White legs, timekeepers, smoke signals. Very cool. <clears throat> oh, 31 days. It's a month. It's, it's only a month. It takes, you know, so we can see what enemies' divisions are doing. Especially Chichen. It's, uh, let's see what happens with them. 
Yeah, this doesn't look good for us. Can we trade more? Trade? No? Okay. Three divisions. Let's see, we got that hole that covered. We got that hole covered. We got these holes covered. Um, kind of that area covered well, but you might as well come up here as well. Oh, Aslan Riches! Aslan has always been one of our biggest customers for our coffee sales, but sometimes, even we can be surprised by the demand they have. Our trade caravans have returned laden with Aslan Riches, and merchants from the Empire have already begun placing hold orders for the next caravan. Wow. Oh, we got 11 days. Trade profits. 15. Now, that's great. But 15 is honestly too much. I'd rather take the hit than, uh, you know, than get rid of my production. Because I'm thinking long term. Because with meeting investors' demands, they're going to demand more. If I get like 15 now, they're going to expect like 17 next time. That's quite a bit. Uh, you know what? We're going to ride high right now. Screw it. Screw what I just said. Give me it. <laughs> We're doing okay. Okay, now they need 16. 16 is manageable. Okay. 16 is manageable. Uh, yeah, do the same thing there. You know what? I want to start building some infrastructure so we can build these areas a little bit faster. And maybe get a little bit more water and energy. That'd be kind of nice. Hey, look. Slaves? Sure. We love slaves. Oh, prepare another mission. Great support equipment. Let's grab some of those flamers soon enough. Grab some of those bad boys. What else do we want? We can do stuff here. It really doesn't matter too much down here. Hideous Quartermaster. Well, he's that's one way to talk about someone. Ramon Martinez del Rio. We're a recruitable population, I see. Foreign capitalist. Oh, Ignacio Reyes. It's only 5%. Let's do it anyways. It's only 5%, whatever. Ah, more slaves for the plantations. 34 things a month, or per quarter. Successful financial year. Oh, that does not sound good. Oh, wait, what? We removed that? Well, it's going to be gone in a few months, but not yet. Very good, very good, my friends. Anything else we want to trade, trade, trade? Build up an army as best as we can, of course. And we almost have enough army XP. Well, almost getting there. To make sure we have good stuff. And they're still fighting down here. Also, yesterday's video, I forgot to turn on the audio or make it louder, so you might hear stuff in the background now. Uh, Atslan? You know... <clears throat> oh, trade mission report. This is the same one we're getting the entire time. This is the fourth in a row. Oh, we get more political power, which is nice, but... If you keep killing off your manpower, I'm not really going to complain about that. Seeing as, uh... We want to rebel against you someday. Let's see, so you guys... I really don't trust, like I said, anyone, so... Chichen, it's a, uh, you know, you are who you are. You know, I'm gonna do that actually. Make it a little easier for us. Go ahead. Oh, do we got something going on here? Do I need to know about that? Nope. Don't care. I'm gonna do that for now. Give me this, give me that, give me a new guy. Juan Fernandez, agile, strong, a tech wizard. Not bad. And we're gonna need a new field marshal as well. Uh, infantry defense, defense, reconnaissance. Get some more entrenchment. I don't ever, I usually don't use rooted. Usually don't, so we'll try that. And get some field fortifications. Very good. Just want to trade, trade, trade. 23. Not bad. Oh, we can make some gliders, which is cool. Some of this as well. Are we out of guns? Oh. Oh, no, we're out of guns. That's not good. I need to buy more guns. Thank you. And staying in house. Great, great, great. Request an Atlan military mission. As loath as we are to admit it, the Atlan, or Atlan, are the best. There is when it comes to waging war. It makes it make require us. It may require us to swallow our pride, but we should request an Atlan military mission to train our new forces. Yes, very good, very very good. Conscription drives begin a scav. We could do a scavenging program, but I want to save as much caps as possible to get more guns. We need internal investments, but get more slaves as well. Uh, yeah, just keep it on slaves. So we have 130 slaves. Not bad, not bad whatsoever. And once we are out of a deficit of pipe guns, I will start making more support equipment and eventually flamethrowers as well. Hey, look! A guy! A ghoul! A ghoulie guy. Let's see. Uh, so we want to get this done so I can get some military theorists. Even though 5% research speed isn't bad, getting daily army XP gain and conventional warfare research time is pretty good. Atlan advisors dismissed. Huh. Plant cultivation, very good, very good. Resource extraction sounds really nice. It sounds really... How much... 
Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, that might be okay to do right now. That actually might be okay. So then we're also going to grab more research speed. Tons of research speed. All right, all right, all right. But uh, are we still mobilizing? Oh, we are. Good, 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 good. Militarized society, that'd be kind of fun to do. Yeah, I would kind of like to do this, but we need army XP. Eh, we'll be okay, since we're going to get this done very quickly. Consumer goods, internal investments. When did we... Oh, oh, okay, internal investments. Yeah, we, yeah, that's the decision we took. More slaves? More slaves for the plantations. We get six a month, that's not bad. Shisho Nation, stuck up tribes, Kaiser's Legion, two sons. And come on, oh... Oh, prepare a trade mission to Honduras. Yes, yes. Let them think that we're doing well. Good, good, good. And... Dinamite. <clears throat> Flamethrowers. It's only a few, little bit ahead of time. That's okay. Go ahead and throw one on there. I know we're not making any right now, but in time we will. In time we will. Actually, how many things do we need to put some flamethrower battalions on these guys? We need... 15 demo equipment. That's not bad. Request an Atlan military mission. That'd be great. And we're going to go down here because I need that research slot since we're going to take a little bit more time to get independence. So, a new strain. Complacency. A complacency is the death knell of any organization. Sure, we all sell coffee, but why stop at just coffee? With the right blend of nuclear irradiated ingredients and proper mixing, a whole new world of flavors can be opened up to us to sell to unsuspecting public. Yes. And get more research speed for a year, which, yeah, it's not bad. It's all right, you know. Oh, trade mission. I did not forget this. Oh, Rafael Hernandez. No longer get internal investments. Whatever. Let's see, anything around here? Meeting their needs? Yes, please. We lose construction speed for a little bit, but whatever. So they want 16 factories. We currently have nine. We're going to take a hit. We're going to take one hit. That withdrawal of an... External investments, it's going to hurt us hard, but that's okay. Cool, and I'm joined here, of course, with plantation owner, Binky. So, it's having a good time. Ah, trading success, finally! They've returned with a good success. Our product has been sold, returned buyers have placed orders, and the wheels of business turn ever so smoother. More factories, and the same amount of political power, which is... I thought you might get a little bit more political power if you do something like that, maybe? perhaps. So right now we're at 851. I really don't think there's any way for me to raise my autonomy like that. And I've already read this earlier, so we get four more civilian workshops, political power, good stuff like that. Build, build, build. Oh, we have level two here. Very nice. Oh, actually, right now we could meet investors, investors' demands, but you know, I'd rather take the hit now. Yeah, like I said earlier, I'm going to take the hit now instead of later. And maybe this will reset. Maybe it won't reset. If it doesn't reset, then this is not good for us. But we'll see what happens. Because I really don't know what's going to happen. Cool. Uh, what's next? Economic advisor, foreign capitalist. Yeah, let's get that. I want more production of stuff. Lots more production. Ooh, do we have more ships? No, we don't. Huh. I could upgrade these ships, but... Eh, I don't know. We're doing the best we can already. Mojave Raiders. You know what? You know what? How about I don't focus on an Air Force and actually use blimps? I never, never, never use blimps. We're going to use blimps in this campaign, if we can. Maybe I can make a few blimps. Our industry isn't that big. We'll see what happens. Ooh, night meetings. That We want that one, too. Manpower's looking decent. An inattentive eye. More autonomy. I'm always going to go for more and more and more autonomy, even though I need more political power. More autonomy is where it's at. And, oh, I remember there... That's right. I'm going down a new strain so I can get to decap to give us a ton more political power. That's so much more political power. Even though I said earlier that's not really important... Now that I can't do stuff, now I see that it's pretty important. Oh, let's do that too. Always keep doing that. Keep trading even though people... Make people believe that we're doing okay. Because we know our master, well, he's a little crazy. Let's see, do that. 1.53. Good, 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 good. 23 factories, take the hit. And I never built infrastructure up early. Watch, will I... Oh, God. Come on, man. Come on. I don't want to lower my autonomy. I'd rather add it to it, so that's okay. We're going to do that anyways. Good, 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 good. Night meetings. I'd love to have night meetings. 
Night meetings in the plantations. Or on the plantations. Not in the plantations. Voluntarily drug populace, of course. Native army. Atalan military mission. Which we get one and a half war support a week. That's really good for like the next four months. That's really good. Look at that. 87% war support. Nice. Good. And I can't find... Oh, training success. Good. Great. Four days. We currently have 17. We have 17 factories. Hmm. You know what? I'm addicted to doing well. So there you go. Ah, uh, too many drugs. Oh, it failed. Okay, good, 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 good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Cool. Awesome. Woo. Do that, and then we're going to start just building up more factories or more infrastructure all around the place. That's nice. That's good stuff. Oh, we can military society. Um, Actually, we don't need to do this just because... Oh, successful financial year. Just because we already have enough war support. We'll have enough war support by the time uh, the modifier from Atsalan goes away. Let's see, one, two, trade profits. Do we profit from trade? I hope so. Can we make more trade? Can I get night meetings? Dedicated equipment. Very cool, very cool. Let's see. Just go and grab more construction so we can build stuff faster. Could do night meetings, and you know what? I am going to. We lose a little bit more political power. 1.46 a day, which is still pretty darn good. Oh, we have personal slaves? When do we get personal slaves? I love personal slaves. Ooh, flamethrowers. I love those too. Uh, guns. I've ignored guns. I'll also get some guns. Better guns. Ballistics. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with ballistic weaponry. You know, go ahead and do that. That'll be okay. Just make a little bit of flamethrowers. We can have a few flamethrowers as a treat. <sighs> Ballistics or laser weaponry? I think I might have went laser weaponry last time. Yeah, I think I did my last campaign, so I'm not going to do it now. Let's get some decaf, though. Sometimes you just need a little less coffee. Well, maybe not me. Maybe some people like a little less coffee, and that's okay. If they like it like that, I'm sure we can still make a profit. Get some more reinforced rate. That sounds good. And I still haven't forgotten about motorcycles. I have not forgotten about them. There's just always a lot of things to research, especially at the beginning of a new year, because it's January 2277, my friends. I hope you're having a great, great coffee-addicted year, because I totally am. Oh, fuel fortification is great. Coordinated assault. Very good. Mm, nice, nice, nice. You know what? I'm thinking. I just, when I was looking at this, just right now, land auction. I'm thinking, this looks like it really hurts your manpower a little bit. Well, maybe not too much. Support companies, recovery rate, flexibility of movement. I'm just looking at this because, someone remind me, when I play the Washington Brotherhood, I'm going to go down refined warfare. I never go down refined warfare. Even when I played as a Brotherhood of Steel, I still didn't go down this way. Less population. Huh. Yeah. You know what? Someone remind me. Remind me when I play the Washington Brotherhood. I, I'm going to go down refined warfare. I never use it. And I know that the Washington Brotherhood does have, like, not a good time with manpower eventually. Slaves, thank you. We have 260 slaves. Great. We need more. But, yeah. Washington Brotherhood, they usually win at the beginning of the of the uh, game. I have seen these guys lose before. Actually, quite a few times. It's kind of surprising. But, hey, look, they have a little bit of manpower. But they eventually get a focus that says non-core manpower goes down, like, by 25% or something. Or 50%. Kinda nuts. Kinda nuts. Let's see. Oh, trade mission. Yes, please. Trade, 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 trade. Wow. We only have eight. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. I feel pretty good, though, about army XP. <clears throat> I could probably stop training right now. You know what? Let's have we stop training and start getting a massive stockpile of guns. Also, ghouls. Well, let's duplicate this template. I should have d done this a much, much earlier. Because I need Coast Guards. Coast Guards. Save. Lower you by there. I'm not going to do too much to these guys yet. Eh, actually, you know what? We have we have a little bit of army XP. And we get more every day, so... That'd be okay. I want to save at least 10-ish. for So that I can throw on Flamers. I'm only going to throw them on once we have enough guys, though. Tower walkers are gone. Cool. Just do that. Be easy. We don't have enough. How many divisions does Nueva Atzalan actually have? They have 23,000 manpower, which is 
a little bit more than us. Just a little bit more. They have six... Oh, 63 divisions. Holy crud. That's a lot of divisions. Prepare a trade mission to Honduras. Good. Ah, oh, I'm feeling like somewhat like a capitalist now. So good. Give me everyone else's money. More coffee. Hmm. Organization opinion. Good. Plus 20. I like it. I like it. Oh, we don't have a lot of caps, though. We're going to need more caps. We definitely going to need more caps. And you know what? You guys come there. I don't know what's going to happen first. War with Chichen Itza. Oh, they're killing... See, this is exactly why I didn't want to trade with Tzotzil too early. Just because I, we all know. Or at least we might all know. That they get taken out by these guys pretty quickly. Oh, look at that decaf. Mm, my dad likes decaf. Uh, let's get scientifically proven deliciousness. Our R&D department ha has run the tests. And all the data points to one simple fact. Costa Coffee is 100% all natural deliciousness. It's science, people. God... I just understand. It's just science. It's a hundred percent deliciousness. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Wow. How old am I? Jesus. Uh, let's see. Can we buy, buy any more people? No. Oh, well, actually, yes, we could buy more people, but we don't have enough money for it. Recruitable population. Anti-air or air stuff. Hmm. That's for Cass. APCs. Mot uh, you know, motors, motors, motorized vehicles. Speed. I am speed someday. Well, are there any other decisions we can take first? No. Atslan officer, more army XP gain, less war support, more attack. El Capitan, brute. R that reinforce rate looks so good. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. Make sure our soldiers are just a wee bit better with more organization. Which would be good. Ah, training success. Good. Good, good, good. Look at that naval XP. Holy cow. Bing, bing, come on, come on, Bing. You gotta whip those <clears throat> people to work harder. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Let's grab uh, some of that. That'll be okay. Oh. Ah, basic weaponry. I probably go with basic weaponry. You know, we might be ghouls, but you know, like oh, we'll get lasers. Should I go ballistic weaponry or laser weaponry? Let me know in the comments below. I don't know. I don't really care which one I choose. They are a little bit different, especially in terms of stats. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Let's take a quick look. So, that's a common energy, common weaponry. I'll show you which one is which. So, common energy weaponry obviously is on the left. A little bit less breakthrough, a little bit more heart attack, more piercing, same production cost, a little bit less reliable, th same uh, air attack, same soft attack, and same defense. I thought they had different defenses. So, you get a little bit less breakthrough for common energy weapons, while you get a little bit more heart attack and a little bit more piercing. And a little bit less reliability. So let me know in the comments below. Should I take a common energy weaponry or common weaponry? I'll let you guys decide. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Anything else down here? Yes, we're going to meet their needs. Their <clears throat> construction needs. No other needs, just construction needs. Metalworking? Cool. Output. Yes, public projects. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we are done for now. Building civilian factories. So we are going to basically guarantee that we're going to take a hit. 18 free factories. Yeah, I got 9. I got half the amount that they want. Trade mission? Yes. Yes. Because we can. And our autonomy right now. It's not great. We have 939. 940. Not bad. I kind of wish that our overlord would request more material from us. But, you know, it is what it is. Prime radio. Primitive radio. Get more output or raise the efficiency cap and growth. But right now... Oh, no. That's on military mission is gone. But we already have 100% war support. So we got... Almost, almost, two political power a day. Now, if we were independent and I could core or attack other nations, I could core their territory so much faster, and that'd be so great. But unfortunately, we have a little bit of an overlord, which sucks. But that's why we're trying to raise our autonomy. And I really don't know of any other way to raise my autonomy except through the master, you know, taking our supplies. All I can do is request a lend lease, which I obviously don't want. So. Hopefully we get to war so we can fight or something, but we'll see what happens. Satisfaction guaranteed. So we get... We remove or replace voluntary drug populace with medicated populace. Not bad. Perfect blend for tax... Tax defense, core territory buffs. Goods for Geras. Negotiation table. Actually, negotiating table. That sounds like a good idea. Rely on the Atslan. Get... Oh, look at that. that that's a lot more autonomy. Yeah, I like the autonomy thing. Uh, we get divisions. That's okay. Business with the cartels. 
Prepare a trade mission to the cartels. That sounds like fun. Taking care of competition. To do this, we need to do new market opportunities, business with the cartels. We've done secure the trade routes. And we need to be independent. Yeah. So, you know what? Even though we're going with conventional warfare... Oh, this gives us more population, too. And damage garrisons go down. And recovery rate. I'm going to go with mafioso tactics to raise our autonomy. So, we have neither the manpower nor the inclination to wage large-scale war. By training our troops for asymmetrical warfare, we can pick the fights we know we can win. By going with conventional warfare. Makes sense. Makes sense in the long term. Let's get some motorcycles. Cool. Make sure we got enough of that stuff, too. So, we have 42 pieces of demo equipment in reserve. Not bad. Not bad. We definitely need more, though. Um, let's see. Trading success. Great. More political power that I don't really need right now. I wish I had other stuff I could do with it, but, you know, whatever. Build some more stuff there, because we're running, we're running out of places to build stuff. Nice. 40%. That's pretty awesome. Shoshani. Shoshone. Nation. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else here? Nope. I'm just going to keep this open for a while. <clears throat> so, so if we see anything. Wow, the 80s are getting kind of pushy. Ooh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. More divisions? Great. Throw them on the front line. Internal investments is are gone. That's okay. I have the capital to invest. What is... The NC... What is going... Oh, they're fighting the Brotherhood. Look at that. They're fighting the Brotherhood. And the Veiled Bandits are winning. Holy cow. I don't think I've ever seen the Veiled Bandits actually push back. They're lucky. The Fall of Vault City. They're lucky that NCR is fighting the Western Brotherhood. Who's also... And they're fighting a Royal, which is... A little nuts. Not gonna lie. That's a little nuts. Go ahead and do mercenary training. That's fine for me for now. That's just fine. Don't really care. I'm always constantly looking for earning our freedom, so... Warrior training, very cool, very cool. Scout kits, I could use that, but nah. More defense sounds pretty good. Desert Rangers look pretty good as well. And I'm all out of my cup of joe. How disappointing. Uh, five research slots. Uh, mechanized warfare? Uh, well, actually, soft attack, supply use goes up. Speed is okay. Tanks? That's until a very late game. I don't like having more supply use. So, you know, if you don't want me to see... I, sorry, I'm going to go down trooper warfare. It just... I don't know. Trooper, Trooper Warfare is just tried and true. And I'm using a lot of Lug Infantry early on, so. And you use less supply use. Even though I do get more population, so. But yeah, whenever I play the Washington Brotherhood, definitely, definitely, definitely going to do Refined Warfare. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, good. So we didn't meet investors' demands, and now we're down to two free civilian factories. That's actually not bad. Let's do that. Actually, do I have five civilian factories? I have five. All I need is two. You know what? Maybe I'll do five. I could get rid of everything here. You know what? Let's do five. Five is okay. I don't mind five. Good. And before we put this back on. And reset. And uh, hold on. An altered agreement. Upon arrival on Tehokan, our Atslan buyers decided to conveniently inform us that they were incapable of paying the agreed price for our product. Evidently hoping to scam our traders, things were about to get heated when one of the traders offered Atslan military surplus as a substitute to make up for the shortfall. So we get 100 units of infantry equipment, 5 political power, and 2 more civilian workshops. God dang it, Atslan. I'm just trying to buy my freedom. That's all I want. But we do have meeting de the investors' demands for now. Uh, five. I'm going to keep building this one up just because um, I can build more factories there and we can build that up faster, which would be good. Special projects, internal investments. Very nice. Very, very nice. Cool. And I'm just, I kind of like seeing what's going on with the NCR. They're, they're, they're dying. Yeah. Okay, so New, New Reno. Oh, are they probably like the Nevada Pact or something? No, they're not. Why is New Reno award with the 80s? So New Reno's fighting the Brotherhood, the 80s, and the Shoshani, Shoshone Nation. Oh, this is really weird. This is really, really weird. What the heck? Alright, anyways, let's grab another thingy here. Salvage motorcycles. Good, good, good. Motorized divisions. Uh, actually, I don't want to throw on any of these guys because it throw slows down our divisions. So, motorcycle boys, welcome aboard. 15, good, good, good. 
I do that just because I know we don't have it nearly enough demo equipment yet. Description drives. New Canaan. Okay, New Canaan is being very aggressive. Okay, we, don't, we got rid of our withdrawal symptoms. We still only have 84 caps. So disappointing. Mafioso tactics. Great. We can get drug soldiers eventually. Satisfaction guaranteed. That's okay. New market opportunities. Prepare a trade mission to Baja. We can expand more and more and more and more. I like that a lot. Mexican Monopoly. Let's keep going down here if we can. So we're going to need the perfect blend. Drug psychos and caffeine fiends are all well and good, but when it comes down to it, what you really want in this hell of a world that we are unwillingly born into and forced to live in is a damn fine cup of coffee. Mmm, yummy. Especially if it's irradiated a little bit. Yum, yum. Description, cool. Yeah, now we need two. Good. Two. Uh, we're not getting any more guys. Effective total manpower modified to 86% due to voluntarily drugged populace. Very good. Yeah. Oh, old country. Wait, hold on. The old country. Are they in the... They're in the Northern League. They're trying to fight the children of the gate. Oh, those poor people up there. Those poor, steamy people. Next up, just go ahead and grab Veridan Training Instructors. 5% more division organization and faster justify war goals times. I really don't have that much to use my political power on. I really don't. Kaiser's Legion declare war on twin mothers. Very good, very good, very good. So get trying to get just a little bit more daily stuff there. I'm not training my guys, just like I said before. Because I gotta make sure we have enough guns. That's really why. I'm not gonna put these guys on yet. First of all, we don't have the army XP, and secondly, I wanna make sure we have enough divisions in the field. That's really why. What uh Klamath, you are fighting antelope tribes? Why are you guys fighting antelope tribes? Yeah, why are you fighting? What happened here? I guess, was Klamath trying to take out antelope tribes? They might have been trying to do that. Cool, whatever. Standardized tools. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time for my liking. Uh, more research speed. Good, 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 good. I want more trade missions. Trade, trade, trade. If I want to play, actually, if I really wanted to play a trade game, I'd play EU4 or, or Victoria 2 or something. Human capital? Ooh. Oh, the Geros of Honduras are not a rich people, but they are an incredibly violent one. And in this world, concentrated violence is worth its weight in caps. In return, our latest shipment, a detachment of Geros mercenaries, have agreed to work for Costa, as long as we provide the tools for the trade. So we get one civilian workshop. So we already get demo equipment, support equipment, on um, technology unlocked. And we get a division and five political power. Well, hello, mercenaries. Well, you're not ghouly enough for me. I'm going to just convert you to ghouls. Yeah, can I train? I can't convert these guys, which kind of sucks. Whatever. Um, Luis's Geros. That's kind of cool. Coast Guards. Yeah, we'd like to fix that up eventually. I mean, we're not at war. We're not going to be warring anytime really soon. Internal investments is gone, which means we come back up here. Because we'll have that soon enough. Perfect blend. Ah, uh, successful year. Unsuccessful financial year. Ah. Military Academy train. Oh, well, before I do that, it might be good to keep a stockpile of political power first. The Fall of Treaty Sands. The NCR is wounded, but not yet mortally. Whatever. No one cares about the NCR. Besides, that makes it... Makes the Veil Bandits look really good. But, I need to talk about the scope of the campaign. I don't know how far we're going to get. My goal probably is to eventually take over all of Mexico and, of course, Honduras. So, that's probably my goal. All of Mexico under us. So we can make more coffee. To sell it to more people. To make more profits. Good. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Ah, more profits from the drug trade. I love the drug trade. You know what? I love the drug trade so much, we're going to buy more slaves with the money we just made from the drug trade to make more drugs to make more money. Ah, uh, business is doing pretty well. Fall of Heaven's Gate. Perfect blend. Very good. Let's grab a satisfaction guaranteed, even though we do want to get to the negotiating table after January 1st, 2278. Uh, let's change this so we get we lose stability, but we get our population back and less damage to garrisons, even though garrisons really don't matter right now. With our new product line up and a ready market of addicted and over-caffeinated workers like me, we're ready to begin business. If anyone has a customer complaint, they just haven't drunk enough coffee yet. Mm. Sounds like I need to drink more later. Still almost to a month. Good, 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 good. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, hold on. We can become free. I didn't realize that. We can become free as long as nothing happens. We just need 300 political power. And we get almost 200... 200? Two a day. Ooh. Obviously not in this episode we can liberate ourselves, but... uh, 
It's good to know. And I'm going to save this up because now I'm going to put on some demo equipment battalions for our regular infantry. Good, we got more defense. That's going to come in handy quite a bit. I do want some of this. And dogs. Let's get the doggos. Even though we can't really... Even if we research them and use them, we don't have enough water for them. It's kind of disappointing. Get some, some of that too. That's good. Uh, planes. Like I said, we're going to not do that for now. What is their template like? Four? So that's eight combat width. What are these guys over here? Motorized? They have demo and MGs. Ten combat width. All right. Chichen Itza is definitely struggling. They're taking quite a while to take these guys out. Huh. Can I no longer invest in other people? There we go. I was wondering why I was taking so long. I want to invest, or have other people invest in me. Trade missions, caravans, good stuff like that. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. Night meetings. Uh, actually, I should not have clicked that. God dang it, I should not have clicked that. We already have enough autonomy. What am I thinking? I'm not thinking. That's what's going on. I'm not thinking. Ah, oh, terrible of me. My apologies. And do we have any more ships? We nope. I don't think we made one yet. Let's double check. Oh, better motorcycles. We can't even use them, but I like them. Specialized doctrine naval. Oh, you know what? We have got. We got. We can do one. We can do one. We have enough naval XP to do that for now. Better that. Double check. No, we have not made any yet. El Capitan. Yes, we do have. Been on or Benormous. Benormous. Brutiful. Americano, espresso, cappuccino, ungroundable, magnificent, steamy, grinder, java, mug life. Trading success, I love it. Yes. So I'm not doing meeting their needs because that would hurt us and we don't really need to do that. I wonder what happens when we become free. When we become free, does that mean they're going to go to war with us? That's a good question. And obviously this guy's going to get called back to Nueva Atlan, which would be good for us, but you know, it is what it is. Prepare defense, cool. Get more heart attack. Do that as fast as possible. Good, 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 good. Satisfaction guaranteed. Get a little bit more manpower. I don't see how much stability we won't have when this completes. Oh, 81%. That's not too bad. Cool. And Mexican Monopoly. Tohono. Jinta del Sol. Hmm. Oh, we can do drug soldiers. Nice. I love drug soldiers. New market opportunities to Baja, because they're doing really well, we must do that now. So, Costa Cafenada, the greatest drink on earth, packing with all natural goodness and a taste you can't forget, coming to a Brahmin trader near you. And we get more political power. Great, 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 great. great. Good. Good. Oh, it's paused. My bad. What is that? Medicated populace. Medicated. Mm. Medicated with all the right things. Klamath. Holy cow, Klamath was annexed? Jeez. Now that's a big antelope tribe. New Reno is getting destroyed on two sides the 80s are being very expansive I've never seen the Desert Rangers even that large they've taken out the Yakuza territories and this were the Vipers I think the Vipers yeah they were the Vipers cool throw you guys right here big old front line against those guys well I say big front line but it is what it is Troll Warner looking pretty darn decent they're gonna have one heck of a time though with the Washington Brotherhood and the old country White legs are doing okay against New Canaan. Let's grab some of that. So just a little bit ahead of time. Not that much ahead of time. Internal investments. And inattentive eye. Um, you know what? We already have max autonomy. Give me more political power so we can, you know, free ourselves from the shackles of Nueva Atlan. They'll probably have to go to war with us when that happens. Oh my god, that's disgusting. They really wanted to extend themselves up all the way to New Reno. That's disgusting. But that's rebuilding the wasteland. I want to stay with... Oh, I built up maximum... Inf oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was doing that. Oh, you know what? I might need factories. Military factories. Go ahead and start building some of that up. We're probably going to need this. Simple circuitry. Very cool. Let's grab... Reinforce rate. Very good. Very, very good. We got some trained dogs. We removed unsuccessful year, which is good. Planes. Uh, airship reliability. Range will probably be already good. I will go with reliability because I never use or choose reliability. Wow, we need a lot of guns. Instead of slaves, I'm going to buy some guns. Thank you. Or melee equipment or whatever it is. Basic weaponry. That's okay. Fair trade mission. That's okay. I'll keep doing that stuff. Wow, we only have five caps. I am dangerously close to not having enough money. That's never a good thing. Never, never, ever. 
Ah, uh, very good. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my lands? Wait, where are you going? Um, I don't like this since we want to declare independence. I, I really don't like this. Are they fighting so it's still as well? Oh, they're gonna... Oh, that's so not good. War goals. You have war goals against them? Um, okay then. Engineering, I mean, that stuff is all, all okay. Output, that's two, oh, that's two years ahead of time. Let's get crop rotations since it's only 45 days. That'll be fine. Let time go on. Heaven's Gate was annexed. Those poor steamy people. So we have a small deficit of that. And we have 10 army XP. So I'm going to throw on demo companies for now. It doesn't even give you any more defense, which really sucks. I really don't like that. But we'll do it anyways. Unless doggos are better. Yeah, yeah, remove. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do that just because we have lots of ghoul, ghoul things. Uh, new strain. We get less research speed for now. Oh, we can raise our autonomy. Oh my goodness, that's so good. But how about we go to the negotiating table? So the Treaty of Oxaca has once again come up for renegotiation. In the past, we have managed to greatly strengthen our position relative to our excellent overlords. It is hoped that this time we can strike the final blow for a complete independence, preferably without having to fight a war over it. So, not a subject. I can immediately go to peace or do become independent. Art of the deal, bad business. But anyways... We shall see what happens at the beginning of the next episode. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Tell me whether I should use ballistic weaponry or energy weapons. And let's hope that we get more slaves in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.